This instructional video is designed to show you how to find the identity of an element when given the quantum numbers of the last electron. And here we have three examples. So we'll step through each of these in order. The first one we have n equals 5, l equals 1, m sub l is plus 1, and m sub s is plus 1 half. This is a valid set of quantum numbers, and so as a result we can go through all of the steps necessary. So the first thing we want to do is identify the last orbital. And that last orbital can be identified by these two numbers, the principal and secondary. And this tells me that I am working with a 5p. The next step is to determine our occupancy. Since we have p orbitals, we have three of them labeled minus 1, 0, and plus 1. And we know that electron is going to be a spin up in the plus 1. The only way we get there is if we have everything before it spinning up. So this tells us then that what we have is 5p3. Now we can use the alpha principle to determine what has to precede it. So if we have 5p3, then the thing we know that comes before that is 4d. That must be completely full. Before 4d, we have 5s, and that's completely full. And then we have a noble gas core. When you're doing this yourself, you'll need to look it up on a periodic chart. However, I have it all worked out, so I know that this is Krypton. And now that we have the configuration, all we have to do is use that to give us the identity of our element. And in this case, we're looking at antimony. For the next one, we have n equals 5, l equals 2, m sub l is minus 1, and m sub s is plus 1 half. In order to do this, we take these two and identify what orbital we're looking at. That's a 5d because of the l equals 2. We can then go to our next step, which is occupancy. We have five of these labeled minus 2, minus 1, 0 plus 1, and plus 2. We know that this one is occupied by a spin up. In order to get that, we need that. So this gives me 5d2. And now I can use the alpha principle to back out everything else that I want to have. So what comes before 5d is a 4f, completely filled with 14 and then a 6s, completely filled with 2. And once again, you'll have to go to the periodic chart to look up the noble gas core. In this case, we had xenon. And as a result, we get that our answer is half neon. HF. So for our final one, principal quantum number is 3, secondary is 1, the uh, magnetic is plus one and the spin is plus one half. So our last orbital, based on these two, is a 3p. We write out our three suborbits, labeling them minus one, zero, and plus one. We see that we're going to have a spin up sitting here. The only way that happens is everything preceding it is also a spin up. And this means that we have 3p3. And now we can use the alpha principle to fill in everything else. And we get 3p3, 3s2. And the thing that precedes it is neon. And so now all we have to do is look this up to figure out what we have, and the answer for that is phosphorus. And so this shows us how it is possible to take the quantum numbers and actually determine the identity of an element by working through uh, the steps.